Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be responding to a viewer comment and it gave me an idea to make this video. So if you guys want to see yourselves in future videos, maybe leave a comment down below asking a question and putting some input or something like that. And I very well might have you in a video just like this guy. So today we're featuring a Flying Llama. Now Flying Llama asked me a question about how to get his VPN working. Uh, during his, uh, his school university network lots of times universities can be very very strict when it comes to VPNs Not only that, but they can also block games as well as other services uh, stuff like torrenting as well um, A lot of the IT networks at universities are super strict. They don't even want you playing games sometimes I know when I was going to school back in the day that a lot of people had problems playing Starcraft Specific games like League of Legends as well and VPNs can be helpful to unblock some of these restrictions but even VPNs themselves can be blocked. So how can you get around this? How can you fix this? I'm going to be discussing that in this video. Now guys, if you want to help support the channel, as always, check out the tier list. The tier list itself is at vpntierlist.com. I made a VPN quiz to help you find the perfect VPN. And we've also organized all the different tiers by their own specific rankings. Not only that, but if you hop on over to the Discord, you can chat with me personally and the community. Right now, it is very small. I just made it again yesterday. I am an introvert, so sometimes, you know, managing all the different social media aspects of my platform can get overwhelming. I'm going to try to stick it through this time and maybe get some moderators or something like that eventually to help me manage it. But it is live right now. If you want to pop in there, talk to me, hang out a little bit, I'll be in there. And hopefully it will continue to grow to what it once could have been back in the day. Anyways, guys, let's get on to the main question that the guy had uh, originally. He was asking about VPNs and how to get around some of those restrictions. Today, I'm going to be using TorGuard, one of the top rated VPNs on the channel, but this can also apply to other VPNs too. Now, what we're going to be doing is investigating some of the capabilities that it does have. Now, with stuff like OpenVPN, usually there are a little bit more ways to bypass restrictions enforced by firewalls such as at universities. What we're going to be doing with TorGuard as an experiment, what you can do if you have TorGuard and you're blocked at a university, try experimenting with some of the different protocols and options. Namely, we're going to open up VPN as the tunnel type, protocol UDP. We can also try TCP to see if that works. Um, so let's try UDP and we're going to try different ports. You could try different ports to see if they work. Maybe something like this, uh, port 443, obfuscated uh, TCP port. That could work to unblock restrictions from VPN. Masquerade is something not VPN related. Um, the cipher is not really going to do much. That's just the strength of the encryption. You could even do stuff like TCP. Um, you could even play with these different ports here. Enable SSL to provide further encryption. What you can try doing is doing the stealth proxy. Now this could theoretically work maybe by obfuscating your VPN a little bit. But I'm not too sure this will have much effect, but you could try it, activating the stealth proxy on top of your VPN. Another thing you could try is using a residential or one of those IPs purchased from TorGuard's website in the main account panel. You could get specific IPs that look residential and aren't as commonly blacklisted as VPN IPs. That's also another kind of trick you could try, specifically with TorGuard. Mainly though, I think the uh, playing around with some of these ports um, will probably give you the best results. Just trying to see if different ones let you bypass some of the restrictions. That's honestly your best bet with something like TorGuard. But let's say you say I have something like NordVPN. You could try doing OpenVPN TCP. And if you go to the advanced page, you could turn on the obfuscated server option. That could maybe help bypass some restrictions. I don't really think Proton really has that many good tricks up its sleeves to kind of bypass some of the restrictions. Uh, this could be useful for accessing Proton's website if it's blocked, I suppose. If we're looking at something like Hi.me, you might even be able to try Soft Ether VPN. It's one of the common ways to bypass firewalls according to Hi.me. Perhaps that could be some kind of interesting uh, way to bypass uh, the firewall and implement it. With WeVPN, you can also choose the OpenVPN port um, and uh, customize between UDP and uh, TCP. Uh, so you could choose TCP with OpenVPN and maybe do 3332. That could work maybe to bypass restriction as well. So that's pretty cool offering from WeVPN. 
Honestly, if there's anything to learn, really, it, you kind of have to play around with some of these VPNs. Each one kind of offers offers different tools. With TorGuard, you have some of those obfuscated ports you could try. Uh, different ports. Sometimes these blocks are related to the port numbers, so playing around with the ports could unblock with TorGuard. If you have something like Hi.me, you could try that soft Ether protocol. Something like NordVPN also has that obfuscated protocol option as well. They don't really see that much with uh, Proton VPN. Anyways, guys, let me know if any of these tricks down below work for you with these specific VPNs. Honestly, maybe TorGuard, WeVPN, Hide.me might have the best results here. If you have Nord, you can also try the trick that I was showing you. Um, let me know if that works for you in the comments down below. Let me know if you have any other questions, and I'll see you again very soon.